Here we have a unique piece. I didn't really know what to think of this when I first saw it. I thought it was good because it's USA made. Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA. Jelly Roll would appreciate this. One of the strings is. Ten. I notice a smell to us kind of, kind of musty I would say it almost smells like a tobacco smell at first but I don't think it's that I think it's just kind of musty but what I found that was really neat about this grammar guitar S10 it's got regular wear on it and I don't know what this is this is like uh, there's something there in the finish I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it in the light right there. It's like little bubbles or something. You got almost looks like something melted onto it or something. Um, that needs a good wipe down. I should have done that before I started making the video. And if I need to, I'll do it later. The grammar. Guitar is the name of this one. Um, this actually shows the serial number there. But this is a Grammar S10 model. And I'll show you. There's a little ding there. There's a heavy scratch there. There's some more of that stuff that I don't know. That might come off if I wipe it with the microfiber. But this is what I wanted to show that was real neat about this that we just found. I noticed it the other day. When I saw this guitar the other day, I looked at it, put me to mind, I thought maybe 80s or 90s. Then I saw this. And when I saw this, I didn't realize what it was. My boss just explained it to me today. This is the time card, and that's what I saw it was. And I could tell by looking at it that it had some age on it. When I saw this, I said, man, this is from the 50s or 60s. That's just the time period I was thinking. I was off because it's 1970. I don't really mismatched sides mismatched sides let's see it looks like it kind of matches to me oh maybe they meant this side and the other side maybe they meant that because it's i don't know i don't know what that meant and i don't know what this is is but it almost looks like to me this was at a guitar factory, at the Grammar Guitar Factory. It almost looks like to me that the wood is rose, the finish is uh, natural, nat. There's a label number, S10. They wrote that. I mean, this is crazy that, you know, you can find something. It's, I hate to say authentic. Rim and body, somebody signed there and it signed 115, 11470, 11470. Looks like they, they signed off on that. Routing, nobody binding. I can't tell, you know, this person here looks like they did that work on it, 1112. You know, approximately about a week later. And then about a week later, TM and Sam did a neck in and final sand. So it looks like over the course of maybe three weeks. I'm assuming this is from the guitar company. I don't know. Anyway, I, we thought that was kind of neat. That's a neat thing. It was in, it's underneath the guitar. I thought it was just, I thought it was the previous owner's time card from their job. But now I've realized that it was actually, I think, where they were making this guitar. I'm not positive on that, but I mean, if it wasn't, hopefully you can look at it and you know more than I do. Um... I just wanted thought I'd share that with you. And here's the here is the case.
And that's the case where it's just fine. But it is coming a little loose right there. This this piece is come undone from that. But all in all, you can see right here. This, I don't know what you call that. It's coming. It's come out. But the case works just fine. It holds the guitar. That's a piece of Americana, you might call it. 